we got a big surprise coming up soon. Hey Tanya. What's up, John? Guess who we ran into? We ran into some fellow YouTubers. Yeah. Hi, I'm Janae. This is Abby. We're from the Happily Ever After Four. We're two of four. Um, yeah, we're here on the Disney Fantasy Week. Yeah. New friends. And we right. ran into each other, and we are going to add their link to their channel in our comment section or, or below, and uh, join their channel as well. Hey, and hey, TJ Pun, show some love. Yeah, all of our subscribers. Hit, hit like and subscribe to their channel. They're awesome. Just do it. Let's help. Let's help them make them grow, right? Yes. That's Where are you oh, all yeah. from? We're from Utah. Actually. Utah. Mm -hmm. There's a big group from Utah yeah, here. Yeah, we ran so. into a few people from Utah. Yeah. Um, Sorry about yeah. the rocking. This thing is really rocking today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can hear the clink of the art on the exactly. walls. Exactly. It's, it's pretty bad today. Yep, yeah, it is. We've had some storms, but it's all good. It's all good. Have and then we got time. the cameraman. Is your husband's name? Yes. <laughs> He's number three of the four. <laughs> and what's his name? John. And we're going to include, hey. oh, this is John as well. Hi, John. It's like looking in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have Calvin, our son, as well. Calvin. And Calvin. Yep. Hi, Calvin's Calvin, if you're watching. <laughs> Calvin's running around the ship Somewhere. someplace. Yeah, he's up in the kids' area. Groovy. Right. Uh -huh. it's awesome. He loves it up there. So, so be sure to subscribe. Help them out. Help yeah, them grow. Yeah. Definitely. So. so fun to meet new friends. Yes, yes definitely. Yes. Awesome. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. So, and I got it. Caramel latte, extra caramel, and they made that design on my coffee. Cute. And, and he said, "Yep, it's gonna quick. It's gonna melt." I said, "Just let it go." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Tanya. What? What are we gonna do? It's the midship detective agency. And there it is. Yep. So. So we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna yeah, be quiet. Yeah, just you can do the you screen. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, you can film the screen so you can see it. Welcome to, begin. to the Midship Detective Agency. Which case would you like to solve? Please choose one now. Oh, uh, the case of the plundered paintings, the case of the missing puppies, the case of the stolen show. I want to do the puppies. Oh, the puppies. Do you have to take one of these? Mm -hmm. Boy, are we glad you're here. This is going to be a tough case to solve. Meet Roger and Pongo. Pongo and I are desperate. Some of our puppies have been puppy napped. Puppy napped? Oh no! We need your help to catch that criminal and get those puppies back. And that means you're gonna have to search all around the ship. Susan, our detective trainer, will teach you how. You will use a high-tech detective badge. This is an amazing all-in-one tool that you'll use to solve the case. Great work! Your badge can be used in different ways. You might need to rotate something slowly. Or, some things might need to be pushed. We will be giving you a case book. It contains a collection of our top suspects with information on each one. Read this over carefully. When you uncover clues, write them down so you can cross off suspects as you go. When only one is left, that suspect must be our criminal. The case book also has a map showing places where witnesses have spotted puppies. At each place, you'll find a piece of art. Hold up your badge toward the art yes, to start also. your search for clues. I know you'll find our puppies. Pongo and I are counting on you. Are you ready, detectives? Yes. Now pick up a pencil and the case book with the blue label. 
Start your search at this location. Deck go eight. there now. There you go. Look, Orphrids. Our puppies have been here. Hey, maybe the villain has too. Use your night scope to see if there's a clue. I don't see nothing yet. Let's go. I see nothing yet. There it is. It's a scorecard from that clever game called Mini Golf. This must be a clue. The names are smudged, but look at that. Every name has a letter A in it. So that means a criminal must have a letter A in their name. Check your casebook. Why don't you write that down with a letter A? Check the pictures and read the descriptions in your casebook to see who you can pass off. Now it's up to you, detectives. Go to any painting on your map and continue searching. Evil Queen is not the So where do we got to go now? It's not the Evil Queen. It's not the Evil Queen. Because she doesn't have an A. So, um, let's see. It doesn't matter where we go, right? So let's go straight up to deck 10. For the next clue. Oh no, the door's locked. Lucky for us, your badge is also a key. <laughs> so you remember you gotta turn it? To make the key turn. Oh, thank you, detectives. You found Penny. This puppy must have escaped. Finding her means we're on the suspect's trail. Keep up the good work. All right, we found a puppy. So we can knock deck eight. We're done. All right, so looks like two floors up, right above us, is another one. So. Let's All go right. to deck 10. All right. All right. I wonder if there's something in there that could help us. Move your magnifying glass around and let's take a closer look. Hold your magnifying glass open. Oh, there we go. Goodness gracious, that newspaper means Cruella's not even on the ship. Great discovery, detectives. This means we can take Cruella off the suspect list. All right, Cruella's off. She is off. Here's something behind that panel. Quick, use your power screwdriver to open it up. Puppies. Two more puppies rescued. Good show. We've just got to be on the way to catching the villain and finding where the rest of the puppies are hidden. Come on, let's keep going. All right. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> there we go. Hold your badge a little farther back from the artwork. There's something behind those balloons. I just know it. Try popping them. Pop them. I know. It's Why, oh, clever! You found Lucky and Pepper. That's two more puppies. This means we're out of the train. Two more puppies. Come on, let's keep going. Okay. So. No clues yet. Just oh. finding two puppies. Walt Disney picture. It's puppies. say they saw something fishy around here. <laughs> Try leaving the fish out of the way with your finger to see if there's anything hidden in the tank.
It's mustache wax. Great work. Now, how would that narrow down our list? What does that say? Mustache wax. Captain Hook. Hmm. We can't see anything through that steam. Sai, you can use your wrench to turn off the leak. Okay, turn off the leak. There you go. Badge there we go. Oh, found a puppy. <laughs> oh, no. You found little Rolly. That's another puppy to add to your list. This means we're one step closer to finding the criminal. You're doing great. Hmm. There's something funny going on here. Someone's been messing with those crates. I know. Use your laser to burn the ropes and let's see what's inside. You gonna burn the ropes? Darn it. <laughs> the boat's rocking, so it's really hard to hang on to. And there's another one. This dog never. A tiny got it correct. I got it right, but now you we gotta did. catch him though. Let's catch him. It's Dr. Facilier! Pull the lever! No! 
Pull the lever. Got the puppies. You captured the criminal and rescued our puppies. Yes, ma'am. That's right. You have to you know it's something different every time. It's something hard to pick. Yeah. Come back and help us at the time. Alrighty, that was good. Yes. <laughs> what about a surf circle? Oh, you like to float on your bed? Just chill? Catching the rays? Are you doing the duck paddle? Yeah. <laughs> Why, I, got, I got a question. Do you play duck, duck, goose? He plays goose, goose, duck. <laughs> because there's only one duck. And there's there you goose go. Duck. Well, can you see that? <laughs> look, look at that bag. Ah, yeah. uh, just a girl who loves ducks. Ducks. Yeah. Ducks are the best, aren't they, Donald? Donald, Donald's, Donald's yeah. pretty fond of a certain Ducks are the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Donald, you have a good evening. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, and welcome to family time game show. I will be your host. My name is Tarek, a part of your Crusoe Entertainment team on board. Yes, we had a big difficult name. It's an Arabic name, Tarek with a Q. But I come from England, from a place called Norwich in the east. Ah. But today, anyways, I'm here to be your host. But this game show is not about me. Uh, uh, uh. It is about some of you out there. All right. For this game show, I'm looking for one, two, three three sets of uh, teams, three teams, and these teams are gonna consist of one junior slash younger cruiser and one older cruiser from the same family, all right? Um, if you would like to play in this game, what I want the junior cruiser to do is find the older cruiser, hold their hand, stand up, wiggle it in the sky, go wild and crazy, show me how much you wanna play! in the audience too. You're actually, we're going to be asking a series of questions, all right? The first lot of questions, you young, young cruisers, all you got to do is think about your answers. Whereas you older cruisers, uh, mature cruisers, let's say, you have to write down your answers on those whiteboards, but you're not going to show anyone those whiteboards until I tell you. What we're trying to do is get a match. Then I'm going to ask you kids, and you're going to give me the answer into this microphone. If you manage to answer what is matched written on this whiteboard, you will hear this sound. And the crowd will go crazy! Because <laughs> you got a match, and that's right. But if you answer and it's not a match to the whiteboard, you're going to hear this sound. <laughs> and we don't want to hear those. Yeah. Well, let's get to know our teams. Team number one. What's your name? Huh? Dean. Dean, everyone say hi, Dean. Hi, hi Dean. Dean, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. And Dean, who have you brought up here to play with you? My dad. This is your dad? Excellent. Dad, how you doing? How confident do you feel you know Dean? How confident do you feel you know Dad? Not well. Dad! That is not a good start. You're supposed to get matches in this game. That's not right. Okay, welcome to the, welcome to the game, Dean. Welcome, Dad. All right, team number two. What's your name? Peyton. Peyton, everyone say hi, Peyton. Hi, Peyton. And how old are you? Nine. 
No, excellent. And who's this you brought up to play with you? My grandma. Grandma! I love that, grandma. Uh, grandma? Yeah. Are you, yes, how are you doing? <laughs> how well do you think you know Peyton? Do you think you know grandma very well as well? I think so. I think so. That's a nice <laughs> thing, well, and I think so. Okay. Welcome to the game, team number two. Team number three. Okay. Tell us your name. Bentley. Be Bentley. I should say, everyone say hi, Bentley. Hi, hi Bentley. Bentley, how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. Excellent. Okay, a little bit older. And who's this you brought up to play with you? My mom. Mom. All right, mom. How well? You're not, you're not supposed to be nervous already. How well do you think you and Bentley know? You got lots of shared, shared experiences? Yeah. Go for a lot together? Yeah. Yeah, all right, that's great, because that's what you're going to need for this game, all right? Dean, Peyton, Bentley. All right, got you all. Welcome. So as I said, I'm going to ask a question. We're going to come out to the audience. We're going to get some answers from you guys as well. So think about what you want to answer to. You guys, you're going to write down your answers on the whiteboards. Youngins, just think about what you want to answer. All right, I'll come to you in a moment. Question number one is, oh, this is exciting. I haven't done this one for a long time, so I don't know how it's going to go. On your child slash grandchild's ideal day off, would they, I'm going to give you multiple choice, would they A, be playing video games inside all day? Would they B, be reading books and be educated? Or would they C, go outside in nature and play games? A, B, or C? Have a think. Oh, I want to introduce Lani. This is my co-host, Lani. She's going to come around and find out a few answers from the audience. All right. I tell you what, if you out there, if you're a kid and you would play video games all day, put your hand up. No, you're not you. You're supposed to be part of my game. I'm going to ask you in a second. Okay. Oh, no, you're not. If, uh, if you would read a book all day, or if you read a book on your ideal day, put your hand up. Come out. Or what about if you would go outside? Put your hand up. <laughs> yes. Well, it's not about you, man. It's about these guys up here. I'm coming to you first. We're talking about your ideal day off. Maybe with dad, who knows. Uh, your choices are playing games, reading a book, or going outside. Reading a book. Reading a book? Is that the one you just put your hand up for? What? Well, yeah, that's fine. So your ideal day off would be to read a book. Any book in particular? Um, no? Just like to sit inside, have a good read. Think of a nice apple juice or orange juice in front of the fireplace. Who knows? Do you read with dad often? Sometimes that's so you think dad knows you're a keen, keen reader. You like the fact you like to read. Dad knows that. Yeah, of course he does. Dad knows that. Right. Okay. Alright, dad, spin that one. Would you put down? Put A! Play video games! That is not a match! Do you, do you like video games? Yes. You, you like video games well, but you like reading more on your ideal day. No, okay, but that's fine. Still yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Dean. He doesn't know how to answer it. Come on, Dean. Okay. Ideal day off, playing video games, reading a book, going outside. You like all three? Oh man, I know all three of them are pretty good choices. But what what would you top the list? A. Playing video games inside. Any favorite game you like to play? Yeah, no. <laughs> Roblox. Oh, Grandma. Yeah. Is Grandma the yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> showing my age now. No idea what that is. All right, I've heard about it, but that's it. Just grab, Grandma, do you know what Roblox is? Yeah, yeah it's because Peyton plays it all day inside on her ideal days off, right? <laughs> well, we've gone for that answer. Grandma, the spin that board, what'd you put down? C! That's not a match! Ah! Peyton, do you like to go outside? Yes. Yeah, well, we did say all three, but... Yeah, you do go swimming all the time, apparently. You swim it. Ah, right, but unfortunately, not a match. All right, let me come over to you. A deal day off. Play video games. Go outside, read a book. I must say A. You say A, play a video yeah, game. I like, so. I like A and C. But it depends on the day. So I'm like, I have a feeling that my mom thinks Apparently <laughs> that is the aim of the game, you know? You've got to really get inside the mind of your grown-up. A, do you play Roblox for any chance? No, we don't play Roblox. You guys aren't going to be friends. Okay, here we go. Let's see, Mum, spin the board! We got A! Yes! Max! You 
guys just think about the answer. Think long and hard. If your child or grandchild won one million dollars, what would be the first thing they would go and buy? Come in. Oh, guys, I hope you've been thinking about what you're going to spend this money on. It's a lot of money. One million dollars. Hey, and you've just won the lottery. Congratulations. What are you going to buy? I'm going to the Bahamas. You're going to go to the Bahamas? <laughs> Said that with such conviction. I'm going to the Bahamas. Would you go by yourself or with your family? Would you take grandma with you? Oh, that's, how many people are in your family? Yeah, would she you take them all or would you only pick a handful? Ah, you would only pick a handful. Okay, some of you ain't making the cup to the Bahamas. All right, but we're spending it on a trip to the Bahamas. Grandma, what did you put down? Buy things for family and friends. You did say you would take your family to the Bahamas. Is that yeah, a match? Yeah. I'm gonna say that's a match. Congratulations. <laughs> Grandmother really believes you're gonna be generous. Yeah. Well done. All right. Let me. One million dollars. What are we spending it on? Okay. So the first thing I'll do is I'll give half of it to my mom, and then I'll give but the first thing... Hold on, baby. Everyone say it. Aww. Aww. And you may continue. So, probably the first thing I'd buy, though, yeah. is probably a plane tickets just for me and my mom uh, to Jamaica. To Jamaica? Did you like Jamaica? Is that what? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's also my mom's favorite country. Oh, oh my goodness. Aww. Oh, hot. <laughs> Hold on, baby. <laughs> And he's like, I chose this because I know you're not going to get it. But I'm going to come out on top in this game show. <laughs> I think you're good. I'm glad. Mum, we're giving half to you and then we're giving you a trip around the world. What did you put down? Or to Jamaica. Give some to charity. My mom's a charity case. Is that what you <laughs> <laughs> a charity case. Vacation. I think going on vacation is a really good answer. Are you going with dad as well, or the family? Yeah. You're going with the family. And where, where would you like to go? Where would, you like? where would you this vacation be? Bahamas. You're going to the Bahamas as well? I actually really love the Bahamas. I love that. We must have a good cruise. So let's find out if dad agrees. Spin that board. Video games! <laughs> <laughs> would you spend a million on video games? We spent half, half of it. 500,000, my man. We ain't spending that million. Uh uh. But it is not a match, unfortunately. Don't worry, That was awesome, though. Video games is pretty good. That was a lot of money on video games. Okay. Beautiful view from our bed. We're moving today. But looks like the sun is over that way.
guys, coming up soon. Oh! <laughs> I got pants for hands. <laughs> I was the last oh, one. Oh, I'm the first one. There's mine. Yeah. That one over there. Where's Matthews? I'm trying to find Matthew. Is that crushed? 